It's so many. Hey, it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and it's been 30 days. My Dr. Dennis Gross uh, Alpha Beta Peels, these wipes that I have, um, I am all done. It's definitely the, the easiest lazy hack if you want to transform your skin but you just don't feel like doing much to it. I'll just grab a pad and I'll just be laying in bed and I just do step one, wipe it on my face chill out, watch something, look at my phone, whatever, and then two minutes later I go in with the part two, put that on my face, I toss it in the trash, and that's it, I'm good to go. Now you could probably use a moisturizer after, I didn't for the 30 days. My skin just looked so beautiful the next day when I woke up, it was just nice and soft and plump. Um, I do have some acne on my skin, like active acne, so I thought I would show that. That is not in relation to this, that is just my life. My acne is much less now, but I still do have some breakouts and stuff like that. If you didn't see my other video, you should definitely check it out. I go through all the different levels that they have of this. I really break it down for you. I have the extra strength one. But I like the way my skin feels and looks. I feel like I have more of a glow. Um, my skin feels more radiant. My acne when I did have uh, flare-ups went away faster, which was awesome. Uh, I remember you guys in that last video I had that crazy giant cystic acne on my nose. Now I have a little scar that's lightening by the day, which is great. So now what? Now what do we do? I wanted to actually show you guys my ordinary skincare because I don't think I mentioned it in the last one, but I am still using it. So it's time for an update and I figured what kind of updates should I do. I'll show you where I am with all of my uh, levels of product that I have left. I don't have any empties yet, so I think I got this around March, April, May or so all of them and then I got some more around the summertime and now I've like halted because for me I'm the type of person that's like I want to finish something first before I start something else it's kind of like a weird like thing for me like I hate to have like half of a product and one thing and half of the other I'm actually interested there is a Dr. Dennis Gross skincare like alpha beta face wash that I saw on Sephora and it looks kind of good so comment down below if you've tried it or if you've heard of it what you think of it I'm thinking of adding that to my um, skincare just because I do need a new cleanser I have one from uh, Folane right now that it's running out but uh, yeah I saw that on Sephora and was like hmm maybe I'll put that in my cart for like later on because I am gonna need a new cleanser and I really like Dr. Dennis Gross skincare good products they're natural they're vegan which is a thumbs up for me yeah comment down below if you have any other Den Dr. Dennis Gross skincare products that you absolutely love moving over into the ordinary let's go through the products that I have and how much I have left and where I use them in my skincare if you want to see how I was using them for the past couple of months check out my morning skincare routine and my evening skincare routine video those pretty much outline where I was using them specifically but let's see now what I have left over okay so my camera died so now I had to switch to my iPhone so if the quality has changed that's why I have a ton <laughs> so I have seven products I'll go in the order of my skincare because I think that's probably most uh, efficient I start off with my face wash done that toner done that the next thing I do on opposite days is that I go in with either my alpha the ascorbic acid the vitamin C one ascorbic acid 8% and alpha arbitin 2% or I go in with my zinc, um, the niacinamide and zinc ones. It's just under this line here. So we have about 25% of the product left. And then in comparison, I got this one a couple months later. And so I am about, oh, you can see it pretty well here. I'm only about this one through. One of the mornings I'll use this one and the other morning I use this one. So we've got 25% and maybe 75% left on these. I didn't mention this in any of my um, updated skincare routine videos because I stopped using them but then someone actually asked me about them and so I figured I should uh, chat about this. So this is the caffeine solution one. If you go to my very first video I talk about how I had this for like under eye stuff. Um, as you can see this is what was in that first purchase that I got and I have like about 75%. So what happened with this is that I early in the year I guess I was very stressed out and I was getting these eye twitches um, like I was only specifically this eye and oh my god it drove me insane if you follow me on Twitter I was pretty much complaining about it almost every day because it was really freaking me out and my way of trying to figure out what it was is that I thought it was maybe this caffeine solution it was not but I was paranoid so I stopped using it it's been months now and I realized wow you haven't had it in a while uh, those twitches and I think because um, I think it's just because I'm not so stressed anymore it was very interesting like I can't believe that that was occurring but that's for a whole nother video where your body kind of gives you um alerts for how 
you are maybe reacting to certain things. So I guess that was a stressful seeming time and now I don't have it at all, which is such a relief. So I am gonna start using this again. I feel like I didn't give it a fair shot because I was scared. <laughs> I thought that maybe this had something to do with it. It did not. Um, because I stopped using it and I still had the twitches for like weeks. Um, and then they finally went away and I think that that was just a change up in my environment and things that I was going through or whatever. Um, which is just still so interesting. Like when I'm like, I don't feel like I'm stressed. I promise I'm not stressed. And my body's like, you're stressed, you're stressed, you're stressed. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to keep using this. Nothing was ever wrong with it. It comes out very gel-like and you only need a little bit. Like I mentioned in the first video, you just pat it on and then let it seep into the skin. And my nighttime routine, what I've been using now is I have the lactic acid one. This is lactic acid 10%, 10%, what Axel was that? 10%. Lactic acid 10% plus HA. I use this one as my first step after the toner at nighttime. So I have about 75%, I would say, of this product left. You can see the level right here. This is nice and light, very watery, um, goes on, sleeps in really well. And then I have my, this might be my OG favorite thing that I uh, love. I, because it's white, I can't see where we are in this, but, um, oh, I can't see like at all where we are. I wonder if I look inside. Oh. I have very little of this left, but I would absolutely highly recommend it. This is the Grand Active Retinoid Emulsion. Oh my goodness. When I put this on before I go to sleep, when I wake up the next day, wow. Beautiful skin, just like the Alpha Beta pads. Just feels like so plump and renewed and soft. I love this. I don't think I have a lot left. I would probably imagine that it's right around this bottom level. This would be one that I would definitely be repurchasing. Loved it to death. Um, so that one's pretty much almost done. And I, again, I use this every single night, so that's probably why. My AHA um, BHA peeling solution is on its way out. This was another one that I absolutely loved. A lot of you guys have commented that you're nervous about it and the stinging and the this and the that. I'm telling you, this thing worked wonders. You can see that I use this like religiously. So I was using this about, I didn't use this in the last month except maybe one or two, only because this had AHA, BHA as well as the daily pads. And I felt like, is that too much? Like what's too much? So only one of, I think one or two times that I do it and then I felt like, Let's just wait. Um, but as you can see, I really went through this one. Isn't it amazing that these are so affordable that it just makes things so much easier where you're like, I wanna repurchase it and I don't feel like I'm breaking the bank. I don't anymore have massive cystic acne, but as you saw in my first video, I had a lot of flare ups and I did say like, wow, this is really stinging me. More so recently now, I don't feel that as much and I think that's because I don't have that much active stuff going on or just irritation or things like that. So. Um, this baby was great. She's on her last leg. Uh, I'll probably get maybe one or two or three more uses out of this. And I would definitely repurchase this for sure. And finally, the last thing that I got in my second purchase of all these products was the High Adherence Silicone Primer. Uh, this one, I probably guess, I think I have a good amount of it. I'd say I probably have like half left. I felt like I had to wait a good amount of time, meaning like it's our five minutes because it was very soft to put on and then it felt like it wasn't like blending into the skin. So it felt like if I did put my makeup on right away, it would slide around. So you do have to wait a little bit, at least for mine. But it does say it's a surface smoother, so it did do that, but it just made me um, nervous that if I put my makeup on right away, it would have just slid around. Everything else that I use is not from The Ordinary. My moisturizer's from The Inky List and I love it. It's awesome, it was super affordable. It was a really small batch and it actually has been lasting me quite a bit. Um, face wash. I said I'm looking at the Dr. Dennis Score skincare one because I'm kind of interested in trying that one out. I think it would be really good. My toner is still good. That's my rose water toner and my one from Zion Health, the Calendula to toner. So that's pretty much everything that I have for right now. That's my skincare update in terms of where my products are. I am on the hunt for some new ones. So comment down below your current favorites. Bonus points if they are vegan and cruelty free. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.